few months ago, I had an idea for this trip. I thought we could drive to Cripple Creek and ride our bikes down Gold Camp Road to Colorado Springs. And along the way, I thought we could also stop and climb Almagro Mountain, which is the second highest point on the Colorado Springs skyline next to the Pi next to Pikes Peak. We've all been at Pikes Peak, so I thought Almagro Mountain would be a good choice to, you know, something different. So as I started mapping it out, I found that, we, you know, we could ride our bikes down uh, Gold Camp Road. And uh, I got a, uh, you know, National Ge or a Trails Illustrated map of the area to help us out. And uh, I pl started plotting out our route. And uh, it ended up, it was going to be about 55 miles is what we're going to ride our bikes. We're going to ride and then camp out one night and then ride on into Colorado Springs and then go to our hotel and get ready for the International Association of Firefighters Memorial. Uh, last two years I've been coming on these trips to Colorado in September. Uh, last year was just as I came back off deployment and um, and so I wanted to be sure that I, I came out and did these things because it's, it's important to get out and, and to connect with nature. You know, we have electronic devices, obviously, everywhere we go, but sometimes it's good just to get out, to connect with nature, to uh, experience things that you wouldn't necessarily experience uh, in a city uh, or in a, you know, a way, you know, different parts of the country, you wouldn't be able to experience some, you know, mountain climbing, hiking, mountain bike riding, and, uh, and so I wanted to make sure that, you know, that this became an important event. Here I am driving out to pick up Dad. I just left the house about 7.52 a.m. I got a text from Jared this morning. He was already on the way. He left Houston about 3.30 or so. We should be meeting up in Clayton, Oklahoma, or Clayton, New Mexico, at about 1.30 mountain time. Just getting out here to the farm. Here to pick up Dad and then head on to New Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Well, we just came, uh, we're at the uh, curve here at uh, Quail Springs. Finally ran out of rain. It was raining all the time we were loading. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. But anyway, it's something wet. We're gonna stop here at this, stop here at this curve and uh, get some air in the tire. Well, for the last, uh, I guess it's been uh, three years now. This is the third year that I've been coming out here with Jared uh, for the firefighters memorial and stuff like that. And and so we've come, always been planning that because every time we go to Colorado, we always try to do something like uh, climb mountains, uh, 14ers, do a 14er, and uh, do a little sightseeing and stuff like that. But then uh, when uh, he uh, was coming out for the firefighters memorial, then I. Uh, uh, decided to come out and meet him out here, and then we try to you know, do something while we're out here too. So, so uh, we, you know, like I said, we've always been doing a lot of 14ers. And then uh, last year uh, we came out here and we did some bike riding too. And this year we, you know, decided to do the same thing again. And it was early last, oh, sometime early last spring, Jared kind of put together a a, a plan for uh, for doing the. Uh, the trip that we're doing now. I think he just went pee. I think he did too. He's still adjusting himself there. I'm making the documentary. I said, put the camera down. So while we were driving this morning, Dad asked me if I'd seen what he had posted on his Facebook the night before. I said, yeah, I did. What he had posted, he said, what do you do in Colorado? Question mark. Do you go for the gusto? You do what others just think about doing? You take a challenge? You climb a 14er? Not just one, but as many as you can in your lifetime. 
You know, and, and he asked if I, if I had seen that. I said I did, and I asked him. I said, uh, "What does gusto mean?" Because I really didn't didn't know. And so he got kind of worried. It seemed like that maybe he had posted something that no one knew what it meant. And, but he said, it's, "You know, it's kind of it's kind of like going for excitement." He turns and he looks it up on his phone on Google. And sure enough, Google has a definition right at the top that says enjoyment or vigor in doing something. Zest. And so I thought that would just be the perfect definition of what we're doing. You know, we're going for the gusto. We're going for the enjoyment. We're, we're going for the vigor of doing something. You know, we're not just sitting around and wasting away our days off or our vacation time. We're actually getting out there and doing something. Jared made a comment. He said, you know, we're th we are three ordinary guys seeking out an extraordinary adventure. And that's kind of the message we want to put out to everybody is, you know, hey, you don't have to be some person that goes out and climbs Mount Everest, but get out there and find your Everest. Find what it is that's going to make you strive for it, and then don't stop until you The Raton Pass. This is when we know we're getting to Colorado. It's located on the Colorado New Mexico border. If you look out to the northwest, you can see the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. It's right between Trinidad, Colorado, and Raton, New Mexico. I see it as an important part of our journey because where we're leaving the flat plains of Oklahoma, New Mexico, and we're entering into the spot where we can start seeing and experiencing the beauty of the Rocky Mountains. There's one point on this trail, this pass, that we always stopped and take a picture at. And it's right there at the Colorado border. When the three of us are together, we tend to take a group picture there so we can look back over the years and see the different changes, not only in the, the scenery there, but the changes in ourselves. And it helps us to remember who we were then, as well as who we are now. our trip on into Colorado. We went through Trinidad and on up towards Colorado Springs. The whole time we've been hearing news reports about the flooding up in northern Colorado and while we were concerned about what was going on there, all the time we were wondering what the road conditions would be and even if we should make the trip that we're about to make. Thank you. 
No barbecue pit? What is it? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess, well, kind of. Just have the little pit down there and we'll wrap everything in foil. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. By the flood? Yeah. But tonight we gotta get all bundled up. We'll go over there and look at the skyline. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get uh start getting the stuff we need, I guess. Okay. So we got the hand sanitizer for you. You did. Ha, ha, ha.